as we go Kyle versus Kruger. And let's let's start with a relatively easy one as we go deep into the 49ers roster. We'll start with Kyle. He's wearing number 40. He's a linebacker. Marcelino McCrary Ball, your thoughts? Ah, uh, yes, the Indiana linebacker, a little bit undersized. I think he's listed at like six foot two fourteen. I think they might try a Demetrius Flanagan Fowles thing with him, where he played a little bit of safety in college, but they're going to make him a full time linebacker in the NFL. Krug, I love this player. I really do. <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny. Damon Bruce was boasting about him because he went to Indiana, but uh, Marcelino McCrary Ball. Damon go to Indiana? <laughs> I, 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 I think I've heard maybe rumors hmm. now, but I, McCrary Ball is flies around and loves to hit, and he's going to be heard from special teamer probably this year. But undersized, as he as Kyle said, two hundred and fifteen pounds. But a coverage guy, a guy who can really run, and um, another guy who's going to be leaning on guys like Kinlaw to plug the middle because you don't want to. He's not. He's not the guy who's going to take the take on the run head on. He's not your point of attack player. But in this movement game, where your linebackers have to play coverage. He's nice. I love it. Triple A nine five seven ninety five seven. If you want to weigh in on Kyle versus Kruger, we'll keep going. <laughs> this guy's number forty three in your program, but number one in all of our hearts. Quantrez Knight Krug. We start with you, the cornerback. Love Quantrez Knight. <laughs> Love Quantrez Knight. He was the true alpha in the Bruins secondary last year. He wore 24. Uh, this guy can play a number of spots. He can play inside. He can play outside. The reason he didn't get drafted, he made, he made plays for days. If you watch UCLA, this was the guy you saw in their secondary. I like him as a sleeper at the nickelback spot to battle Womack. Is he a corner? Is he a safety? I don't know. He's a football player. Uh, who he's doesn't a have guy. He's a football guy who doesn't have quite the measurables but man, I really like Quantrez Knight. He play, and if you and Pac-12 DBs, everything's going against them. So if you can do it in the Pac-12, generally you can do it in the NFL. Kruger's talk blocking you, Kyle. What's left for you? Is there any meat left on the Quantrez Knight? Ball? I don't think he's going to make the roster, but he's definitely one of those guys that I think goes to the practice squad, where you hear about him more next year as they make a transition in the defensive backfield. Strong, strong there from Kyle. Let's keep it rolling. Troy Fumagalli. Number 49, Kyle, he's a tight end. What do you think about Puma huh? Galley? <laughs> Super productive receiver at Wisconsin, which, like you guys were talking about earlier with Jordan Matthews, I think they need that second receiving tight end. I don't know if he makes this team, uh, but sure, he's a guy. <laughs> he has nine digits, not ten. He's missing a digit. Hold you. Uh, <laughs> hold you. At, in, where, where's G-Rad with the good knowledge right there? You know? <laughs> um, he's got nine digits. No, but Fuma, One for the thumb. Uh, Fumagalli, um, you know, that that's an op- – that's, I would say the tight end spot, the only guy in the room that's guaranteed a roster spot is Kittle. So the, the other spots are open. And uh, Fumagalli was aggressive. And, um, and he's got decent hands. I, I don't think he makes the team. Yeah, nine out of ten. I give his hands a nine out of ten. <laughs> He's missing a digit. He is missing a digit. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing from the yeah. Hilton. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. No, it's very good. Let's keep it rolling. A couple more here. As we pick and pop the roster, it's Kyle versus Kruger. Oren Burks, the linebacker Krug. Love him. Love this player. Very Oren Burks guy. Seriously, Schneider, the new special teams coach, said that when he when he gave Kyle Shanahan um, a list of guys that he wanted as special teams aces, that Oren Burks was at the top of the list. And then if you watched him in the minicamp, he was all over the field. He's very athletic. This is a good enough player to play from scrimmage. On this team, he'll play stri- strictly uh, as, on special teams. This is going to be one of the reasons the Niners special teams is better this year. Yeah, I completely agree with that. I, I don't know if he's good enough to play. Like, I don't know how good of a linebacker he is, but he's definitely a really good athlete. I loved him at Vanderbilt. I thought he was going to be a really, really good player. He's fallen short of that. But what Larry said, really, really good special team, and the Niners needed it. I love it, Kyle versus Kruger. Roster crunch is on Sagoon Olubi. Kyle, your thoughts? I know he went to San Diego State. That's what I've got for you. Safety linebacker. That's what I've got for you. (laughs) You know, in some ways, a cutting-edge player because he is a sub-4-5 linebacker. Wow. Now, the Niners, we were talking before, 
four seven linebackers need not apply. Their guys are all four five. This guy is four four five. Man, he's mm. two hundred and twenty pounds. He's crazy fast. Um, he's one of the guys I got to watch this this summer. He made some plays. San Diego State, Rocky Long, tremendous defense, really good defense. And 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 this this is a athlete. This is this might be the best at. This is a room of athletes. Yeah. This might be the best athlete in the room of a room of athletes. This is an incredible back. Saguna Luby breakdown <laughs> that you won't get anywhere else. Well, and just to, just to, <laughs> just to spin off that that point about linebackers, Ed D'Amico Ryan's their defensive coordinator was a very good linebacker in the NFL. Was a linebackers coach. They just get athletes in the room, like Larry said, and they coach them up and they figure it out, which I think is is kind of key at, the, at that position. Yeah, and the, the bar is set so high with the three starters. So that high. Any, any linebacker who steps in, and you got to be able to play teams if you're a linebacker. And that's, you know, uh, Flanagan Fowles was so good at that when he was here. One more. Here's to you, Curtis Robinson. Kyle, Curtis Robinson, the linebacker out of Stanford. Stanford guy. Had a a cup of coffee with the Niners last year as a special teamer. If he's going to make the roster, I think that's going to be the reason why, because they like what he does on special teams. Yeah, he makes the roster. He's a he, this is a special teams ace. Mm-hmm. I love this player. I did the Stanford mm-hmm. pregame the last few years, and so I've seen the Ooh. kind of the evolution of Curtis Robinson. Really, really smart. Really, really athletic. Going to be in the right place at the right time. Really a nice special teams player. I think he's going to be maybe a special team Pro Bowl player nice. at some point in his career. I love it. That was Kyle versus Kruger as we look at, yeah, the 90-man roster. Gentlemen, well done. Congrats to, to both of you. So and, good uh, Luby to you. No, exactly. Uh, it means no worries, by the way, the 6'2 <laughs> <Stop>. linebacker. <laughs> I know, Kyle. 